DIFCON, an acronym for Divine Commonwealth Conference, is an annual program organized by the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. This global program, which started in 2011, has run with different themes since its inception. Themes like A Commonwealth in Christ 2011, Contending for the Faith 2012, Go Forward 2013, in times like this, 2014, there to be a Daniel 2015, Fear Not 2016, and we have the Man Jesus 2017. DIFCON is an Anglican national program that is solely for spiritual upliftment. Let me say some years ago now, we observed that um, we gather for what may be regarded as business meetings, administrative meetings, like synod, boards, councils, parish councils, archdeaconry boards, diocese and boards, standing committees, general synod and diocese and synod, and whatever meetings that uh, we were having. These meetings had to deal with issues of administration of the church, problems solving, difficulties, and other things like that. We observed that there was a loophole in our system, and that loophole was that we scarcely gather solely for spiritual upliftment. Apart from the, what is done in the parishes. So, this was the inspiration that gave birth to DIFCON. That during DIFCON, nothing administrative will be brought into it. It will all be spiritual program from beginning to the end. How people will be uplifted, how their spiritual life can be deepened, how they can meet the challenges of day-to-day -day living. Uh, well, DIVCON, according to the acronym, that's um, Divine Commonwealth Conference. Um, basically, a, a movement in the within our church, the Anglican Communion, for evangelism, for revival, for missions, for outreach, and for individual um, individual upliftment in the spirit. It's a reawakening in the church. The theme for this year's edition of the conference is I Will Restore. The date is 12 to 16th November 2018, and it's open to all Christians. Right from the beginning, we have said that it is one program which is open to all, to men from different church backgrounds who want to share our fellowship and who want to understand us more and more. And uh, it's actually ecumenical. This year, from the theme, you can see the tone, I will restore. I will restore is prophetic. First and foremost, is against the background of the devastation in our country. That uh, a lot is not in order. We are not blaming anybody for it. But things are not in order. And so, we are looking forward by faith in this theme to a time, and soon we believe, when God will restore what the locusts had eaten. Restore to our people. We are like people who have been in exile and we are about to return and return to the peace of God, return to the progress of God, return to the blessings of material, spiritual, economic blessings, boom, in this country, to the surprise of the rest of the world. Looking at the situation in Nigeria, 
We're looking at the sufferings. We're looking at the punishments. We're looking at the um, pains, agony, um, hunger, poverty, disease, insecurity. And on the land in Nigeria, we're looking at uh, what an average man is going through. And we see that the average man in Nigeria has lost a lot. We are coming to the conference to reassure ourselves of what God has promised us that definitely in any matter, it will restore. We we'll bring back the lost glory in the nation. It will bring us back to the tract of greatness, of revelation, of uh, upliftment. It will bring us back to the track of riches. We will come back again to real uh, demonstration of enough, having enough in your pocket, in your life, in Nigeria, for the adult, for the children, for everybody. I will restore. That was what God said uh, in the book of Joel, true prophet Joel. So that same Lord, we are praying that you should please restore back to us a great nation. Everybody is invited for this program. It's not limited to Anglicans alone. Anybody and everybody can attend. Whether you are Anglican, Pentecostal, whatever it is, please come. It's a, a great land of exploration of God's blessing upon the people. So, and this blessing is not limited to Anglicans alone. Anybody and everybody can attend, no matter the denomination. Registration is the key to the venue of the event, as nobody will be allowed to the venue without a name tag. Through registration, you have statistics. Through registration, you impose standard. So registration in anything is necessary. People were asking that account be given for the number of people who have been registering each year, and so on and so forth. So it helps accountability. We are very optimistic this year. Last year, we had um, over 7,000 participants. This year, because of the blessings of last year, because of the way God reached out to them last year, we are expectant that more people, for that reason, will be coming to attend the conference this year. Because DIFCON is a place you attend and you can give the testimony. It's an experience. DIFCON is an experience. DIFCON is God's touch. DIFCON is an explosion of God on individual and communities. DIFCON is an outreach. So many people will, come, will be coming this year and we envisage that there will be far more than 7,000 of last year. The venue of the event has always been the reason why the number of participants have been regulated. Our hope is that we will soon leave where we are using. The constraint we have is space. Where we are using now is already um, packed. But we are looking forward to the immediate future when we can have our own space, which we are trying to develop somewhere outside the city. And we will go there, everybody will have, we will not put much emphasis then on limiting numbers and so on and so forth. So anybody who can afford to attend will then attend. This year promises to be great as all participants are expected to come with an open heart to meet with God who will restore all they have lost to them. What people should look out for is uh, um, messages that will turn around their lives. Um, seminars that will direct, open their eyes to something they've never understood before. Interactions deep spiritual environment where, because any convocation where God is present, there will be miracle. So miracles will be there. Miracles of forgiveness for people who are hurting. 
miracles of healing, miracles of deliverance, and of course, miracles of conversion for people who have been in the valley of decision over their faith. My message is clear, and the only message anybody should be waiting for in this country at this time is to know that God will pre provide streams in the desert. The nation is like a desert. Uh, turn left, turn right. The, whole, the entire place is dry, dry of food, dry of love, dry of care, dry of good health, dry of anything. Nothing. Just nothing is working. The only thing that the nation is not dry of now is lying. Everybody lied to you on television, they lied to you on radio, they lied to you everywhere. We are very rich in that. And those who lead us are abundant, abundantly telling us lies. But the Bible says right now, and I want to assure you, the days that the caterpillars and the canker worms have eaten, the Lord God in heaven will restore. That's my message. So don't give up. God will restore. In Jesus' name. And we are inviting everybody. But before they come, they should pray for the program. And because God is there, wonderful things will happen. It is not come to meet any man. Come to meet God. And if you come to meet God, God will give you something. Come. God is waiting to reveal all the artists and pranks that have been militating against the advancement. The date again is 12 to 16th of November at the National Christian Center, Abuja. Come. God will restore all to you. Thank you.